Reddit is the ninth most visited website in the world and around 49% of its traffic comes from the United States. Reddit was founded by University of Virginia roommates Steve Huffman and Alexis Ohanian. Within six months of Reddit's establishment, Aaron Swartz joined to develop the software. Aaron Swartz was an inductee of the Internet Hall of Fame, which was given to him by the Internet Society for his extraordinary contribution to the development of the Internet. Aaron Swartz was given the title of the co-founder of Reddit, but he was not able to enjoy the success of Reddit as he hanged himself in 2013. In this video, we will tell you the story of Steve Huffman, who is the current CEO of Reddit. We will tell you what inspired him to create the world's largest social news network. Today, Reddit has become so powerful that it even influenced Wall Street. A single post on Reddit can make or break the biggest companies on Wall Street due to discussions in Reddit and GameStop short squeeze. Melvin Capital Hedge Fund lost $6.8 billion and went bankrupt. This is the power of Reddit. Biggest hedge funds are scared of Reddit because it gave voice to the common. Want to know how Steve Hoffman founded Reddit and what was his motives behind it? Watch the full video. We at Business Chronicles tell the stories of extraordinarily successful people. Please subscribe to our channel to help us in making more videos. Steve Huffman was born in Warrington, Virginia on November 12, 1983. Being the eldest of four siblings, he had to learn to be responsible from an early age. As early as age eight, he was already writing code for computers. He completed high school at Wakefield in the Plains, Virginia, graduating in 2001. Huffman earned his bachelor's degree in computer science from the University of Virginia in 2005. Huffman and his college roommate Alexis Ohanian took a trip to Boston, Massachusetts during their senior year to hear successful programmer and entrepreneur Paul Graham speak. After Graham's presentation, he struck up a conversation with Huffman and Ohanian and invited them to apply to Y Combinator, his startup incubator. Huffman came up with their first idea, My Mobile Menu, which was supposed to allow consumers to order food through SMS, but the idea was rejected. Graham urged Huffman and Ohanian to meet him in Boston to propose another idea for a startup, and it was during this meeting that the concept for what Graham called the first page of the internet was conceived. Both Huffman and Ohanian made it into Y Combinator's inaugural class, and Huffman used Lisp for all of the coding on the website. He and Ohanian launched Reddit in June 2005 with financial backing from Y Combinator. By August 2005, Huffman had realized that the site's regular user base had grown large enough that he no longer needed to contribute to the front page's material. On October 31, 2006, Huffman and Ohanian, then both 23, sold Reddit to Condé Nast for an undisclosed sum. Huffman continued to work for Reddit until 2009 when he resigned from his position as the company's interim CEO. Huffman backpacked for a while across Costa Rica before launching the travel website Hipmunk in 2010 with author and software developer Adam Goldstein. Hipmunk is an online travel service that seeks to alleviate the stress associated with trip preparation. Their goal is to facilitate more timely and hassle-free travel arrangements. Hipmunk organizes flight search results into a timeline, making it easy to find the most convenient option. The hotel search results are displayed on a map for travelers to see exactly where they will be staying and which local attractions are in close proximity. Hipmunk was first introduced to the public in August of 2010, and Huffman served as the company's chief technology officer at the time. In 2011, Huffman was selected to be one of Inc. Magazine's 30 Under 30 honorees. Hipmunk was shut down on January 23, 2020. This shutdown came about three and a half years after corporate travel and expense platform Concur acquired Hipmunk in September 2016. Huffman admitted in 2014 that he should not have sold Reddit because the site had grown faster than he had anticipated. After Ellen Powell stepped down as CEO and things were looking bleak for Reddit, the company decided to bring in Steve Huffman on July 10, 2015. Huffman's priorities upon his return to the firm were the introduction of the iOS and Android platforms, the improvement of the mobile website, and the implementation of an A-B testing framework for the platform. Since Huffman's return to Reddit, the site has undergone a number of technological enhancements including a revamped mobile experience, a reinforced infrastructure, and stricter standards for posting. 
Some of these measures include removing content that incites violence and blacklisting some content users might find distasteful. Huffman also spearheaded efforts to incorporate video and images on the site and make it more advertiser-friendly. In 2017, under Huffman's direction, Reddit's website underwent a substantial graphic change for the first time in a decade. According to Huffman, the site's antiquated design made it look like a dystopian Craigslist. It took over a year to develop the new site, but in April 2018, the makeover went live. For his contributions to the tech industry, Fortune magazine named him one of the 40 under 40 in 2020. Huffman says he has been interested in blockchain technology since the early days of Bitcoin. Under his leadership in July 2022, Reddit introduced a new NFT-based avatar marketplace, where users may buy and sell profile images based on the blockchain for a set price. The company states that a credit or debit card can be used instead of a cryptocurrency wallet, and that Reddit's own wallet product can be used to keep your purchases. To issue these avatars on-chain, Reddit has teamed up with Polygon, an Ethereum-compatible blockchain. Reddit's native app has a blockchain wallet designed specifically for storing and managing NFTs, it's called Vault. At the moment, Vault is used to accumulate community points on a blockchain and then redeem them for rewards like badges and animated emoticons. The NFT Profile Images project is still in its early stages, but Reddit says it's interested in exploring further applications of blockchain technology. The term net neutrality refers to the idea that all data sent over the internet should be treated the same by internet service providers. ISPs should charge the same amount for all traffic regardless of the type of data sent or received, the website or platform used, the software or hardware used, or the location from which the data is coming or going. Huffman, like other proponents of net neutrality, believes that if it is in place, the end-to-end -end principle is protected. Competition and innovation are encouraged, questionable services are avoided, and users are less likely to tolerate slow-loading websites. In an interview with the New York Times in 2017, Huffman stated that if net neutrality laws are not implemented, you give internet service providers the ability to choose winners and losers. Repealing the net neutrality laws, Huffman said, will have a chilling effect on innovation and entrepreneurship. Huffman called on his Reddit followers and other Reddit users to contact their lawmakers in Washington, D.C. to voice their support for net neutrality. In August 2021, Steve Huffman and YouTube VP Malik Ducard joined Game Changers Board of Directors. In a press statement, Game Changers Charity said they were added to the board in recognition of their invaluable contributions to the growth and success of Game Changer. Steve has been involved in a number of game-changing projects in his career and we are so excited to have his professional expertise going forward," the statement said. Game Changer Charity, by the way, is a nonprofit organization that uses cutting-edge technology and creative thinking to support children battling all kinds of illnesses and injuries. Steve Huffman was lucky enough to start programming at the very young age of eight. He built a passion for programming, and instead of wasting time on games, he created a social news platform. The idea was simple but the execution was impressive. He hired the best programmer Aaron Swartz who built the core foundation of the news platform. Later on, he continued to contribute, and it became big enough that today, millions of users use it regularly. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this.